Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For today's Spur video, day 10 will take us to the 4th of November and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the external GFS and ECM ensembles. They run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video. For the next four weeks, gets us into the second half of November and I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say about the first video today was our 6am upload. And we'll also uh, release the um, EC 30-day forecast for the UK and for the rest of Europe as well. So please check out those two videos. If you'd like to do that, please like, share, subscribe on videos. And we thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. Thank you so much for the lovely live stream, everyone. Last night, did a live stream discussing the eighth uh, winter update. It was a cracker. It was a really good live stream. I enjoyed it. We had such a fun time, such a laugh. So thank you so much, everybody. For making uh, that live stream so very special. If you wasn't able to catch up a bit live, then you can watch it back on catch up uh, on demand whenever you would like to do that. It's on the channel homepage. So check it out. If you'd like to, that will be live streaming again tomorrow evening with our 10 to 14 day. But more about that at the end of the video. Right, well, let's start off in the Tropic Atlantic. Now, we've got a disturbance area that has gone orange. Here we go. This is uh, Disturbance 1. A 60% chance of cyclone formation in the next two and five days. They're saying showers and thunderstorms have increased slightly, but remain limited near a well-defined area of low pressure loca located around 40 miles south-southwest of Bermuda. If the associated shower of thunderstorm activity can increase further near the centre, the system could still become a tropical depression later today. After that time, the system is expected to continue moving northward toward cooler waters and into a region of unfavourable upper level winds, which should limit additional development. So it looks like that could become uh, a named tropical storm, but will probably be quite short-lived um, as it drifts northwards. We'll keep an eye on it. CT continuing to rise up. We are currently standing at 12.4, which is nearly 2 degrees above average. That's provisional to a 24. I'm starting to wonder now whether this might get to 13 Celsius. I don't know. I think it could be very, very close. Maybe upper 12s in the end, but we've still got like a week to go. And uh, further warm days to come, warm days and warm nights. So um, we shall see. We shall see where that ends up. But uh, it is ticking up every day. It's very unusual because normally, you know, second half of October would be a rapidly cooling period. October is one of our cooling months on average from start to uh, finish. So, so the start of October is n normally often warmer than the uh, end of October, um, you know, as we rapidly descend uh, through the autumn and towards winter. So quite unusual to see this ticking up day by day. Uh, and uh, we shall see. We shall see where it ends up. It's going to be quite exciting to see where we are by this time next week. Will be the first of November, of course, this day next week. These are GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles from Bournemouth today. Suggested location for this part of the video. If you'd like to have your local uh, town or city uh, featured within this uh, part of the video, then please let us know in the comments or you can ask us on our social media channels Twitter, Facebook, Discord. And uh, you can even email garrisworthers at gmail.com. And uh, we are more than happy to feature your local town or city. Dates on the bottom of the graph. You can see that up to the beginning of the November, that period just there, we're solidly above average, above average upper air temperature and surface temperatures for the next week. There is still signs of a decline in the upper air temperatures later on in the first week and through to the second week of November. This period just here. We're returning back closer to average. So we get into November. Looks like we have a bit of a cool down. Only back to average. Doesn't look as though it's going to go particularly cold. But cooling down back towards average after a very warm end to October. Becoming more unsettled into November as well, potentially. So next few days, we'll have some precipitation spikes, showering conditions, but not overly wet. But once we get further on, it does look as though 
the precipitation spikes are ramping up a little bit, especially through this uh, this period just here. It's accelerating, so it's unreliable. It might be overdone, might be going over top, but it does look wetter, doesn't it, as we go into uh, the first week or so of November. Looking at the extended uh, graph, that's how it looks, takes us to the... Uh, last stages of November now on this graph. So, of course, we're starting off really quite warm at the moment, above average temperatures, of course. Into early November, there's the decline in uh, in the upper air temperatures. And uh, then second half of November, this period, just here, you know, a lot of scatter, but looks generally quite close to average through that period. So once we get this warm spell out of the way, by sort of the opening days of November, that might be it then for the extreme war. You know, that, that could be it for this year for the extreme war, but we'll have to wait and see. And lots of precipitation spikes, especially this period, just here through the first half of November, maybe not quite as wet actually, second half of November, but the first half of November does look as though it could be really quite unsettled. Temperature anomalies on the 25th of October to 2nd of November are above average, not just UK, but through all parts of Europe. Some places are going up to 10 degrees above average. France, low countries, Germany, Poland, for example, even to southeastern corner are uh, going really, really mild. So, so it's exceptional warmth that's covering most parts of, or all parts of Europe, actually, and into Russia as well in uh, in the week ahead. Quite remarkable, really. Precipitation anomalies from the 25th of October, 2nd of November. Wetter than average for Ireland and just the far northwest of Scotland, but most places actually picking the whales drier than normal in the week ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt from Earth, NordSchool.net shows up. We're returning to southerly winds. We've had so many of these southerly winds over the past few months. And uh, here we go, more southerlies pushing back up uh, across the western side of Europe today. Right, so this is how you can make your run. It's looking for midnight on Friday. And uh, we're still in most southerly events, actually. With low pressure out west, high pressure to the east, up, up, pumping southerly winds he <coughs> excuse me heading on through uh, the coming weekend we find that uh, high pressure has a go up reaching in from the east keeping us relatively dry over the weekend but only next week it looks like low pressure then starts to break in from off the Atlantic, so possibly turning more unsettled through uh, the early part of next week. Still mild though, still bring those winds up on a southerly to southwesterly direction. I can't! Looks like that again on Friday. High pressure is away to the east, low pressure out to the west, and up are coming those very mild or warm southerly winds. Into the weekend, the scenario continues. This area of low pressure might bring some wet weather in from the Atlantic over the weekend, though. Uh, but basically, broadly, we keep those southerly southwesters going right the way up to uh, Tuesday, which, of course, the 1st of November. Um, we're in most southerly southwest. It remains very mild, if not quite warm. There will be rain in the northwest, probably mostly dry, though, down in the south southeast. But GFS midnight run um, once more is showing low pressure west, high pressure east on Friday, and we're drawing up those very mild or warm southern winds. That scenario uh, continues into the weekend as well. Early next week, um, basically, we maintain the pattern right way up to the middle of the week, that 2nd of November, still drawing up those long fetch southerly southwest. It's been a change by day 10 as low pressure starts to break through from off the Atlantic. That will bring increasing amounts of wet and windy weather and also start to bring something a little bit cooler in from off the North Atlantic as well. And the trend through the uh, extended range with the GFS Midnight Run is very unsettled. Low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, bringing spells of rain with it. Uh, jet stream is moving southwards as well. We are getting a little bit of higher pressure trying to build up here. It's very weak, but it's enough to start forcing the jet stream just a little bit further southwards. So we go on to the cool side of the jet, so not only wet with these areas of low pressure, but also cooler as well, quite substantially so, I would have thought. Certainly return back to average. And so look, as we get to the end of a GFS big light run, low pressure is across the UK and France. High pressure is out to our north and west, and we're pulling in something quite a lot cooler from the north and from the northeast uh, as well. The upper air temperatures um, look like that. So I mean, we're not talking about anything particularly cold, but it's certainly cooler 
compared to the uh, really warm <laughs> upper air temperatures that we've got at the moment. There we see the upper air temperatures that we've got, we've got at the moment. They can get even warmer, actually, over the uh, next few days. So, like, in 72 hours, the upper air temperatures look like that. We're almost bringing up the uh, plus 15 Celsius iceberg from France there into the southeast of England. So, compared to that, you know, uh, it does sound significantly cooler through the first week or so of November. GFS 6 then. <coughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. We can video without a cough. GFS 6 then. Uh, looks like that. With low pressure out west, high pressure to the east. Winds are coming up from a southern to southwesterly direction at the end of the week. And that's maintained into the weekend and the open part of next week as well. This looks quite a vigorous area of low pressure just here. That might be some very wet and windy weather through the middle part of next week if it comes off. Um, and then we we'll second half next week, we're going to that rather cooler push of winds from the west to the northwest. So what we begin to lose those sub leaves, low pressure is in control, so it's unsettled with spells of rain where temperatures start to return back closer to average. And heading into the extreme range with the GFS 6 z looking very, very unsettled, low pressure, pushing through, bringing plenty of wind and rain through the first 10 days of November, but going cooler as well as the jet stream just moves that little bit further south. Again, it's not cold, but it is cooler compared to the warm subtleties that uh, we're going to have over the next few days. If you're enjoying this video, please can you like, share, and subscribe. And you show it to everybody for doing that. We have just hit 14,600 subscribers. Our first or our next 100 within 14 thousand fourteen K has been achieved fourteen thousand six hundred. We are now pushing on to fourteen thousand seven hundred subscribers and of course the ultimate target is fifteen K. So please give us a sub everyone and we thank you so very much for doing that. GEM looks like this with high pressure to the east, low pressure west on Friday with poised with these very mild or warm southerly winds into the weekend and the early part of next week. These areas of low pressure keep coming. They'll bring further spells of rain uh, with them. And as we go through the week, as we progress through the week, not only unsettled, but again, similar to the GFS model output, the jet stream is moving further southwards. So although... Um, yeah, it's not cold because it's Atlantic driven. So it was spring air in the Atlantic. But despite that, temperatures do start to lower as we go through the uh, through the opening sort of um, uh, days of November due to the jet stream moving southwards. But it will be very unsettled. I think that will be the main talking point. But you'll probably notice the cooling trend in the temperature. And then the ECMWF looks like this. So once more, we draw up those subtly winds on Friday. They carry on into the weekend and the early part of next week as well. Then middle of week, that's Wednesday. This looks like it could be the transition day. Deep air of low pressure sweeps through the country, cuts off the southerly, turns the wind back into the west and uh, we bring these deep areas of low pressure in from off the Atlantic. So again, looking very unsettled, but also turning cooler as well. Maybe, maybe even colder on this scenario as that area of low pressure moves away, it looks like it's about to pull in like a northerly wind. So possibly signs that we're getting colder there, actually, with the ECM. Notice I've only used cooler through most of this model output uh, for the first week, 10 days of November. But the ECM could actually be going colder as that low pressure exits away. It will pull the wind in to the north. This is my precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tomeshow.com. Plenty of rain coming and going into western areas over the next few days. Not much, though, over in the east and the southeast until we get through to uh, next week and then we turn significantly more and settle as deep areas of low pressure come in off the Atlantic. So, really wet for the open days of November and starting to go a little bit colder as well. Notice there is a little bit of uh, green showing up there. Across northern England, northern England by uh, day 10, a little splodge of, uh, of snow over the Pennines. Don't get excited about it. But just the idea that temperatures will be lowering then. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10, which will get us to the 4th of November from the Icelandic Met Office. 16 members of the ECM 
ensembles with deep low pressure right over top of jet stream, so very unsettled. And as the jet stream moves south, it's getting cooler as well. 13 with low pressure over slightly to the west of the country. That's going to be very unsettled too. A little bit milder though with that one. Wind seen from more of a west southwest direction. 12 with low pressure to the west and high pressure to the east, and that will bring up. Uh, quite a mild southerly flow and then 10 just here with deep low pressure out to our west and again that's going to be very unsettled and a little bit cooler uh, as well and to me time uh, two weeks time this is the, the these are the options that we've got gets us to the 9th of november 14 members of the ecm ensembles then have low pressure to our west southwest high pressure uh, is to our east so that's probably going to be drawing quite a mild southerly flow again uh, nine with low pressure out to our west, high pressure to our east, but a little bit more to the northeast, so more central Scandinavia. And that might be drawing the wind a little bit more southeasterly. That could be a little bit cooler if the air is coming in from off the continent. Remember, as we go further on through uh, the autumn and into winter, there will be a big difference between southerlies and southeasterlies. Uh, we've got nine just here that look quite cold. They've got a mid Atlantic ridge hanging up towards southern Greenland. With low pressure to our east, and uh, that will bring us like a northeasterly wind. So, so that looks like it could be really quite cold indeed. We've got eight just here with low pressure to our west, and winds are coming in from west or southwest direction. So, uh, quite wet, windy in the northwest. Otherwise, um, you know, uh, looking looking mild though. Uh, seven with low pressure just over the country, deep south of low. With that one, very wet and unsettled and then four with high pressure over the sides of western country mainly dry and colder with that with the dry the wind in from off the uh, continent so a range of options there telling us that there's quite a bit of uncertainty as we go through the first week to 10 days of november CFSB2, looking like this, is a 500 millibar high to always going down in two week periods. The first week period takes from the 25th to 31st of October. The coming week will have high pressure to our south and east. Low pressure will be to our west, and winds will be coming up from a very mild southerly direction. Week 2 sees a change. It's the 1st to the 7th of November. Low pressure then in off the Atlantic. That's unsettled and a little bit cooler as well. Week 3 is going to be the 8th to the 14th of November. High pressure then is out to our west. I'm turning drier. Could be a little bit on the cool side though. Winds coming in from a northwest direction. And then week 4 is the 15th. Uh, let's highlight that. It's the 15th to the 21st of November. High pressure then somewhere around Denmark. Um, bringing the wind like from a southerly southeasterly direction. The model would say that's very mild. Um, it could be colder though if the air had been drawn off the continent. Um, you know, the continent could be rapidly cooling down then. So um, that might actually be sort of frost and fog and that sort of thing. But as it's four weeks away, it's not worth worrying about. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so very much for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you found this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends and family about Gareth's Webbies and ask them to subscribe too. And that's incredible. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, so just to tell you what's coming up tomorrow, we're going to start off with the 6 a.m. upload. We will have the external forecast for America tomorrow looking at the ec XA model for the next six weeks for you for the united states uh we'll be live streaming at um 6 p.m tomorrow live stream at 6 p.m live stream at 10 to 14 there and then straight after that as soon as that finishes uh we will have the fourth and final sneak wiggy for christmas um 2022 so uh epic day coming up tomorrow you enjoy the rest of your tuesday and for this one though that's all for now and thanks for watching